Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 3, Entity Relationship Modeling, part 3. The lesson objective for today is to explain the multiplicity, carnality and participation and to describe fan and chasm trap. Main type of constraint on relationships is called multiplicity or sometimes we call as carnality and modality. Multiplicity is a number of possible occurrences of an entity type that may relate to a single occurrence of an associated entity type through a particular relationship. It represents policies called business rule established by user or company. If we take a look at this example, carnality means the maximum number of entities that can be involved in a particular relationship, the outer part. And the inner part is the minimum number of entity occurrences that can be involved in a relationship, which we call as modality. Based on this example, each salesperson sells to minimum zero or maximum many customers. And each customer buys from minimum one or maximum one salesperson, or we can say exactly one. Let's take a look at one-to-one -one relationship. In this example, staff will manage branch if you take a look one staff manage one branch and there is a staff who did not manage any branch means the minimum is zero and if you take a look in branch all branches are managed in diagrammatic view this is how it can be represented if we take a look here if you want to read the data at 1-1 one, one there, it will be each branch is managed by minimum 1 and maximum 1 staff, or we can say exactly 1. For the relationship 0 to 1 here, we can say a member of staff can manage minimum 0 and maximum 1 branch. Now let's take a look at one to many relationship. Based on this example, one staff oversees many property for rent. However, there is a staff who did not oversee any property for rent. Means the minimum is zero. Same goes to property for rent. There is a property for rent who is not overseen by any staff. Means the minimum is zero. How we can represent this one in diagrammatic view will be each staff member can oversee minimum zero and maximum many property foreign. For property foreign, each property foreign is overseen by minimum zero or maximum one member of staff. Let's take a look at many to many relationships. If we take a look here, many newspaper will advertise many property for rent. Each newspaper must advertise at least one property for rent. And for, for property for rent, there is a property for rent which is not advertised in newspaper, means the minimum is zero. In diagrammatic view, how we can read it will be, For newspaper, each newspaper can advertise minimum one or maximum many properties for rent. And for property for rent, each property for rent is advertised by minimum zero or maximum many newspaper. At multiplicity for ternary relationship, the entities involved are staff, branch and client. Staff at a branch will register a client. However, if you take a look here, staff at the branch did not all register client, means the minimum is zero. However, if you take a look here, all clients are registered by staff. How we can represent this relationship will be a staff can register minimum zero or maximum many clients and for the branch relationship 
one branch will have minimum zero or maximum many clients. Now, let's take a look at structural constraints. It is divided into carnality and participation. Carnality means it describes maximum number of possible relationship occurrences for an entity participating in a given relationship type. For participation, it determines whether all or only some entity occurrences participate in a relationship. Normally, we describe the participation as all or not all. Let's take a look at this example. We have two different entities, staff and branch. One branch has many staff. If we want to know the carnality, it is the outer part. If we want to know the carnality around the staff, we will read from table branch. For example, one branch has many staff. For cardinality at the branch entity, we will read from the staff entity. It will be one staff works in one branch. For participation, as we discussed before, if participation is 1, means it is all. If you want to know something around the staff, we read from a branch. What does it mean here? All branch has staff. Let's take a look on the participation on branch side. As I said, if it's 1, it is all. If you want to know something around the branch, we will read from staff. What does it mean here? All staff works in branch. Let's take a look at another example. We still have the staff and branch, however, with different relationship. One staff will manage one branch. If you want to know carnality on the, on the staff side, we will read from the branch. One branch is managed by one staff. Same goes with the carnality on the branch side. One staff manage one branch. For participation, at staff part, we will see it is one, means all. All what? All branch is managed by staff. And if we take a look, participation at branch, it is zero. Zero means not all. Not all staff manage a branch. I hope you are clear about participation and the carnality. Now, let's take a look at problems with ER modeling. Problems may arise when designing a conceptual data model called connection traps, often due to a misinterpretation of the meaning of certain relationship. The first problem is fan trap, where a model represents a relationship between entity types, but pathway between certain entity occurrences is ambiguous. For chasm trap, where a model suggests the existence of a relationship between entity type but the pathway does not exist between certain entity occurrences. Take a look on fan trap. Suppose we have these three different entities. We have staff, division and branch. Division has staff and division operates branch. Based on the semantic diagram, at which branch office does staff number SL21 work? If we take a look, the pathway of SL21 is working in division D2 that operates branch 005. Means we will know staff SL21 works in branch B005. Let's take a look on another question. At which branch office does staff number SG37 work? If we take a look based on the semantic net diagram, we can see staff SG37 works in division D1. However, division D1 operates in two different branches, B003 and B007. So, where does SG37 work? In branch 003 or in branch 007? This is what we call as ambiguity. 
in determine the data. Or what we can say, this is a fan trap. So how to solve the problem? So from the example, we have the original uh, data model as shown, which division has staff and division operates branch. To solve the fan trap, we can restructure the data model as follows. So we will have division operates branch and branch has staff. From the semantic net view, we can see SG37 is working in branch 003. Let's take a look on chasm trap. We have the relation of branch has staff and staff oversees property for rent. At which branch office is property PG36 available? If we take a look, PG36 is available at branch 003. Let's take a look on the next question. At which branch office is property PA14 available? Since PA14 is not being overseen by any staff, then we cannot see at which branch office it is available because there is no path. Supposedly, there's a relationship, but there is no pathway. So that's what we call as chasm trap. So how to solve the problem? We have the original data model just now. Branch has staff, staff overseen, overseas property for rent. So to solve the problem of no pathway between branch and properties, what we can do, we can add new relationship. For example, it's as follows. We create new relationship name offers from branch to, to property for rent. So based on the new semantic net view, we can see PA14 is actually available at branch 007. Then the problem is solved. So I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.